load forecasting using artificial neural network in MATLAB software. To do this, uh, to do this uh, load forecasting in MATLAB using A and then first you have to ready with the data set that data set containing with inputs and targets the inputs are uh, what mm, here the t inputs are totally six inputs means six inputs with 31 samples and uh, targets are seven targets that's also 31 samples then click on MATLAB After that, uh, in command window, you have to type nn start. Click enter. This uh, neural network start will appear. Click on fitting app. Here, a welcome to neural fitting app will appear. Click next. Here, a selection of data window will appear. You have to load inputs and targets from the uh, previously uh, saved uh, data uh, sets. First, uh, here you uh, for loading inputs, click here, import import data. Click on these three dots. So, from where you have saved it. You can download from there or you can open from there here. So inputs are uh, loaded, click on next, here change the name, give the name as inputs, click on finish, after uh, click on finish summary will appear, it, it is showing that 6 samples of 31 elements but we are uh, save the means we uh, we have the data set with 31 samples of six elements so it is in matrix columns change it to matrix rows click on matrix rows so then see here it will come as 31 samples of six elements it is correct so um, we have to set it to matrix rows so then uh, load target as same as uh, loading the input so click here here um, targets are loaded click next change the name to targets after that click on finish targets also loaded then after that click next here validation and testing data uh, will up, um, box will appear so training is 70% validation and testing will be 15% 50% you can change uh, validation and testing as per uh, your convenience after that click on next 
here network architecture box will appear you can uh, give number of hidden neurons as per your convenience then uh, this is the input what we have loaded the input of six elements with 31 samples and this is the hidden layer means hidden layer is uh, 10 so it is showing 10 then output layer means uh, actual the target layer target we have uh, taken as uh, 7 so uh, outputs also come as 7 from this one from this uh, output is also come 7 outputs will become come so click here next so this is the train network uh, box uh, in this uh, we have train with the help of a Levenberg mark dot uh, algorithm so another uh, two algorithms are also there but we have uh, used here Levenberg mark dot algorithm this is uh, back propagation neural network algorithm so here uh, uh, click the uh, for training you have to click here train so training will happen and uh, after the training uh, you will get the mean square error values and regression values as uh, be uh, better if regression values are uh, better if, if it comes to near 1 or 0 0.99 0 0.9 that if uh, it will uh, come as 0 0.9 it will be much better so i have get here 8.88 so to getting uh, near 9 we have to train uh, retrain here until uh, at least two um, means uh, if uh, at least two i uh, of three we will get near nine then it it is better so here it will come uh, so next you can plot regression so uh, here training is 0 0.9 uh, validation is 0 0.8 testing is 0 0.9 all of three um, combining all of three we will get uh, regression 0 0.9 so here uh, regression one means it's a close relationship zero means random relationship uh, so to getting close relationship regression value will be near one it's better if it's one it's still better mean square error means if lower values means uh, error is less then it's better if there is uh, zero error it's much better then click uh, next here uh, evaluation network uh, means testing network uh, will this is the testing network uh, if you have if you if you can test network you can load here the data set you can uh, load the inputs targets from the data set and you can do uh, but i will not do the testing network so i have to go to the next here um, i have i wanted to draw the uh, simulink diagram
so from this uh, you can uh, get uh, error histogram plot also and uh, performance plot also so this is the performance plot this is uh, performance plot means mean square error versus epoch iterations this is the best performance and uh, error histogram plot is uh, this is instances versus uh, errors means errors is nothing but target means uh, uh, this is the actual data minus uh, output means forecasted data so this is the error histogram plot you can plot these plots with the help of this uh, neural network training which is uh, appeared after the uh, train so here by clicking the simulink diagram we will get this uh, simulink automatically this simulink will be appeared so we can maximize this so this is the input uh, and uh, this is the input and this is the output you can remove this scope delete it and uh, you can take on display So this is the input, this is the neural network and this is the forecasted output. So in this, in this, uh, you can um, give the input, input value of first sample, first input value of first sample means this, this is the input uh, excel sheet, these are the six L inputs. So this is the first sample of six inputs. So you, you give these uh, six uh, inputs here. So for this, you can click here. You, you cannot remove anything from here. So you here one semicolon as it is cannot do semicolon you cannot remove the semicolon there simply remove the numbers and give the numbers so three inputs are already given fourth input is 24 50 is 70 next 60s 13800 0. so then apply then ok then run here uh, you will get the output this is nothing but this is the forecasted load 